welcome back to Let's Play. Welcome next to you, Gil Darkness. I was just like saving that, just playing my guitar. I figured out this is E major. And I can't resist. It's it's that I don't know if it's a sit sit there or something else, but this bit coming up. It's hard to freaking hear it with my freaking amp on. I can't freaking hear it with this on, it's just a pain in the ass. But it's like B. Essentially, it's like B, G sharp. I'm trying to play all I just can't hear it. But it's like B, G sharp, A. Then you go back to the B and then like bend it up, bend it back down. Then you like go back to the G sharp. Then go up to an E. Wait. Yeah. Then you go from a B to a C sharp. I've got this on kind of quiet as well. Actually, that could work. Voice over it. Nope. Still not very good at tapping. Actually, how'd that all one go? Where would I have to play that for it? Nope. Needs to have that space in between it. I don't know how the rest of it goes. I go anyway. Uh. I'm trying to think how the battle theme goes. Actually, how did Mirror B's one go? I haven't heard it in ages. But the one in this game, how did it go?
Yeah, I think that's it, actually. It's like, uh... Like B C sharp B C sharp B E C sharp B no B no E B C sharp. That is, if we're talking the key of E major, anyway. You know what? Since I mentioned it in the previous part, it'll finish this off and get back to the actual game here. Play that freaking annoying riff that kills my hands. Well, fingers. It's really hard. I'm still not used to it. It's like, you know, in metal where they have that kind of like. It's like, it's just like, the notes aren't like, just like. They have a bit like where it's like. It reminds me of this one Metallica song that my guitar tutor gave me. It has a similar thing, only it freaking wears you out a lot more. I think the difference is, is because, like, in the Metallica one that was given, it's, uh, Jump Into Fire, it has bits like... It actually slows down, but with freaking Cowboys From Hell, it's like there's barely any time to slow down, and you gotta really stretch. And that's not even including this, the fucking solo bit that's like... I mean, that bit's easy, but the freaking legato isn't, and the bit that's like... Just like, really kills the fingers, man. The riffs leading into it is bad enough. Just like, I can't freaking keep up with it. It's not even that freaking fast. It just wears my fucking arms. Anyway, that's eight minutes of me playing guitar. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back. I've got to finish this McDonald's that was handed. And I will get to the point after that, so I'll be right back. Right, <laughs> I thought, was my freaking microphone not down the whole time? I don't know, I won't know until I get around to editing. But 18 minutes, <laughs> good and nearly 19 minutes, let's finally do something. Uh, I want to see, is there any battle CDs to buy here? Yeah. Two. Three. And four. I'm not actually going to do the bingo thing right now, though. <laughs> I've got to change of plans. It's actually a battle here of once. The Dragon Coliseum, you would like to excellent. Shit, I didn't even look at my Pokemon to see who's up front. Probably still got God of War up front. Shit, now I'm making this decision and made me realize I gotta insert those clips again. That's what I dread about bat with this game. Sure, it makes me nostalgic and wants to play Persona 4 Golden on my PS Vita. That's still I've got around to. But man, finding clips to edit in, man, it's a pain in the ass. I'm always friendly with Pokemon. Not nearly as bad as when I edit for 5 minutes at 10, though. My god, that help is a pain in the ass. Recording's going for freaking ever at the point that I'm recording it. Because, like, it's very late in the LP, side quest stuff and all that. So it's absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. Just like freaking getting ultimate weapons. Freaking Kamari is what pissed me off so much. I've like literally recorded up to part 99. It's ridiculous. I know this is you can go. 
you can go to flame that bitch you are. See no. GA. God knows why I like the freaking doing clipwise for Yuna. I don't really know if I'd do the same thing as I do with Zona characters. Like, probably would have her, like, a clip of her appear when she gets defeated and stuff like that, but other than that, I can't really imagine it's... Well, could, it just depends if I can find a damn clip where I'm not talking over attacks. Which can be surprisingly a pain in the ass to do. I have to search for many parts just to find a decent clip of that. When really, what I should do is just, like I've said before, make like a freaking separate video that has a compilation of clips from my Persona 4 LP so I can just pick from there. But no, I have to go through the hard task of freaking finding it in whatever parts and be like, is it part 60? Was the clip in that one? No, no, what was it? Ah, oh, I don't know. It's a pain in the ass going through them. I'm like speeding through it. And I could like overlook like parts where like Gary would say something and then just like be like, well shit, I could have had that perfectly because I wasn't talking over that bit, but no. How dare you lower my attacks? For that you will die. Which one of you? Go either way. Okay, oh, I still got to be McDonald's a drink. Oh, that's fair with McDonald's, isn't it? It's just like, when you eat it, it's gone quite quickly. Despite how long it took me to get back, so you know. The, you know, recording here because it was on pause for like, well, it wasn't actually on pause, just left it running for eight minutes and then just sat there eating. Obviously, that'd be edited out. <laughs> just imagine the audio, just like hear this light munching in the background, occasional opening of the door. Oh no, look what you've done to my Pokemon! What a pilliot! Kind of, well, all these names are weird for the most part. Let me introduce you to a peculiar world of mystery. It is called Monopoly. It is a mysterious game that everyone and their dog is played, but it's never completed. It's a game that always seems to end before it actually is meant to end. Have you ever in your life played an entire game of Monopoly? Because I don't think I ever have. I've played Monopoly a couple of times. Heck, I think I even played Monopoly briefly last year, I think. And that game didn't actually end where it's supposed to. It just kind of ended. I sick the coins. Here we go, and up against ghosts. Yeah, screw you, and I. You'll get your chance to shine with a uh, shadow tag. Okay, okay, back her up, back me. Yeah, back her up. You wanna play? You wanna play like that? Fine. Fine. I will thunderbolt your ass and freaking flamethrow your ass. It wasn't even necessary. Uh-oh. Eh, well, you're not gonna be on the field anyway. 
Uh oh. Well, I think we can probably knock him down before that happens. It's a completely useless move if your opponent could just switch out, really, isn't it? But imagine a battle where, like. Actually, that's probably why you were going for originally, isn't it? Like, if War Buffett was still on the field, we wouldn't be able to switch out until we knock out the War Buffett. Of course, it wouldn't last long enough for it to work on us. But still, actually, what you were going for there. Yuda! Matter because I was named for you, bitch. That could actually work on us then, couldn't it? Hmm. Outrageous, aren't they? Ah, shit. He just stole him for time. There was nothing peculiar about that match. There is something peculiar about your name, though, and still. What a peculiar name. This is a semi final match. Are you prepared to lose? I could ask you the same question. You know this arena now that I think about it reminds me of this one stage in Project Diva F. That's a big Project Diva F. As this exact similar look to it. Even has a crowd in there as well. Except when you try to use an edit mode, then the crowd mysteriously disappears. Actually I think it's two separate stages I like that. In fact, in my random clip sided. I remember a one that I did for Pokemon Fire Red referencing, and I used that exact stage. So yeah. But who cares? Do a splops. That better not have Shadow Tag as well. Yeah, Electabuzz do well. Be Take a while and then
I got this in the bag. You know, if it had rose its special defense, it probably would have been able to withstand that shot. That McDonald's completely consumed them with that drink. You're special. You have a special name. Helion. 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 Helion? Or it could be like Hi Leon. Like, oh, hi Leon. I'm looking forward to a tasty victory. Can't help but think of Katie from Higurashi now that I'm helping. It's, it's like he reminds me of him. Same kind of spiky brown hair. He doesn't even appear in the first freaking question arcs, and I'm still currently on the first one. Yeah, let me think of that guy. Breloom and Quillfish. Well, Breloom, you are fucked, essentially. Excuse the language, but yeah, you are so screwed. Oh, I just remembered something that I thought of when, and I was eating. I was just like thinking of the uh, professor in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I just thought like, he always looks like he's high and I just imagine like the protagonist walking into his house and he just like, oh, whoa, oh, 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 just suspiciously putting away stuff. He's like, ah, nice to see you. But I thought, no, that's totally not it. He's probably supplied the protagonist with shit like that. That's why the protagonist has that soul-staring smile all the goddamn time. He's high out of his mind. Seriously, man. Why? That just, that bugged me. Probably, well, nah, there were a few things that bugged me about Pokemon Sun. But that was one of the main things that bugged me. <laughs> that game was the protagonist's constant freaking smiles. Like, emote, damn it, and then occasionally, very occasionally, he'll show some different facial expressions, but it's so goddamn rare. I mean, it's common in battle, really. If you, like, just wait around, you'll be smiling like, a, uh, like, just like he's high off his mind, out of his mind. Or sometimes he'll just, like, close his eyes and, like, put his, like, fist near his jaw and just be, like, in that kind of fort way. So he does have different, you know, expressions, all that. It's just you rarely see it. It bugs me. I mean, it's the same case in this game, really, isn't it? Although we've seen the protagonist probably emote more times than the sun and moon protagonist. I mean, remember that time when he, like, uh, couldn't get the scooter running? And he had that look of, well, shit, on his face. He actually had some damn emotion sometimes, you know? That, and we don't have to stare his goddamn face the same way we do with the Pokemon Sun and Moon. And he doesn't quite have that soul-staring look on his face either. So that's the difference there. You know, they passed up, uh, like, well, Miltank does definitely have good defense, but imagine if it had defense on par with Lissy and Chansey. Then calling it Miltank would actually make a lot more sense. Because 
would it wouldn't just be a cow, you know, it would also be a tank. I know. Wing attack for you and thunder if possible for you. God damn the Axion Thunder is shit. Wait, no. Yeah. Rum pig the somewhat good special defense thing. Good luck gonna lift him stand two hits from such high levels. Losing doesn't taste very good at all. Cop him. I'm starting to wonder if the last two trainers were based on elements. Elements. Because it's just like, it seemed like it. But at the same time, who knows? Maybe there is a logic to these names after all. Congratulations for winning your challenge. What a marvelous run of battles. Here's your prize money. And as uh, another prize, we also present you with this TM22. I wonder how many battles they can go through here before they're just like, okay, we don't have any more TMs to give out. We look forward to your next challenge. What was that that we got? Solar beam. Wait. First things first. Switch with Chie. Let's go visit Kamingo. See if anything is new over there. Completely, uh, barely even relevant. In fact, I don't think he was relevant at all in the main plot, even once, I don't recall. He's just there to kind of make you think. He's just like, oh, I wonder what's up with this guy. It's just like, I originally thought he was going to turn out to be one of the villains or something, but nope. He's just a mad scientist that you don't really see much of. A bit went off on a battle quest saying he will demonstrate the power of Robo Pokemon to the world. Well, that's not necessary. After all, Robo Pokemon are the ultimate. After all, one is playing a key role in bringing Cypher down. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a spoiler, but he apparently appears in the Orc Coliseum after a while. So, uh. Oh, battle CD. <laughs> That's actually what I came here for, you know. Just see if there's any more battle CDs just lying around. Well, I thought there was like a way we could battle him here as well, but I guess not. There must be more to this place than I don't know. Anything here? I guess not. Let's 
so much for being an assistant to the Professor Chobin, you freaking some bitch. Like, screw that, I'm gonna... It's why this big looking at those. It's like, screw this whole uh, Professor nonsense, all these stupid experiments. Oh, there is something over there. It's like, I'm gonna go and like, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 yes. I'm gonna go do Pokemon battles, hooray! Actually, what about this one? What? I thought I opened all chests in this place, I guess not. Weren't we already here? I think we were. Maybe. We'll be taking whatever this is. Fill a stack of white paper. Oh, it's that. Right, dry reading something. The new diary entry. How many diary entries did we leave off on? Big brother seems to be relaxed, Joby thinks the adventure is not so hard anymore. Maybe it's Joby's turn for adventure. Joby should ask Mummy. That recruit Joby for sure. Joby's not allowed to read. read Jobin's handwriting again. My goodness, Jobin is happy to see that QV girl go off on an adventure. Dr. Kamiko can focus on his research again, and Jobin will serve as the doctor's assistant. Hey, Jobin's writing's in... Yeah, what, what? What? Hey, Jobin's writing's in Jobin's diary again. This is a secret diary. Jobin can't write in this. The irony of that uh, statement by Jobin there. He's the one that went on an adventure. Hypocrite! Uh, that one in the corner. It's yellow, isn't it? Get me on it. And that's it, yellow. What is this? It's an old battle CD! How many battle CDs have we got now? Where would they even be? Oh yeah, we still haven't tried the bombs we got, have we? Uh... Still missing 9 and 10. We're still missing quite a lot. Jesus Christ. Where do you even find half of these anyway? Some of them prizes? I don't know. Kabigger's house sucks. Jobin, you sack of shit. You took the Groudon, Robo Groudon, and now you've gone to Orc Coliseum. We gotta clear a bunch of shit in order to battle him, though. I want to see if something's changed. Probably not. I'd imagine Cause never ever really changes No it doesn't Oh yes I recall she's not there She is upstairs now She is upstairs now She is upstairs now Take the elevator 
that looks like it's a refrigerator. Wrong room, wrong room, wrong side of the building. Where are we going? Oh, yes, we gotta go back downstairs. We get there. What a waste of time. This is accomplished. Jack shit. No, it didn't go with the music. It accomplished. We have A and U. We go again. <laughs> I wonder. Can I bow CDs? Hey Michael, did you want to train on the bows him? No. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. Well, Sim is in peak form, battling on it and getting stronger. By the way, while studying Shadow Pokemon, we made several interesting discoveries. Ah, oh, shit! You clicked on it! Ha ha ha! You fell for my trap! I will talk forever at you! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I'm telling you all these things even though you've already purified them all. Jovi, you got anything new to say? Thanks, bro. Jovi doesn't get it, but Nini and the other Pokemon are all very happy. Did you do something interesting you did, didn't you? Incredible, I mean. Nope. Nothing new to say there. What a... interesting part. That had little to nothing. Just like one Colosseum. Battle CD collecting. Not much of them and all that. Some guitar playing and there. Uh, yeah, that was about it, really. Really should freaking get my Pokemon up to level 63 by now, you know? Maybe take on all Coliseum again. We'll see. But for now, I shall see you next time, viewers. See you next time.